Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to uh, uh, add our dependency CSV files like input test data files and how to change the existing test data files. So uh, we have a script here by a product in JPEG store. Just open the script and here we have the file of uh, CSV, uh, CSV file and if you go to the uh, CSV file uh, variables you have the CSV data set. If you, if you select the CSV data set it was showing the value user1 and pass1. So if you want to change the file content, if you want to change, I mean, if you want to reapply, upload the file, how do we can do it? So to do that, to do that, uh, first, uh, after coming into the script, respect to script, go to the files, go to the files and uh, upload it. So this is the file content what we're using now. So here I'm changing the pass here. Now in existing, in existing uh, uh, test data, we have in existing test data we have uh, columns. We have columns, columns. We have pass one. So I am reapplying. I am changing the username and password here now. I save the file. Uh, now back to the previous page. Uh, go to the files. Uh, select your select your test data file. Select your test data file. So this is test data file. I am uploading it again, uploading it, yeah it was uploaded, go back. So if you go to the variables here, come to the columns, now the value has replaced with the same file. So no need to change the file name as well, so if you just upload the file, if it is already existing, JM, uh, October will overwrite the existing content, if it is a new file, uh, it will take it as a new file separately. So if, no need to change the file name on every time you upload. And no need to uh, add your CSV file or you need to change the input parameter file every time. You can use the same file for uh, uploading. Uh, Octopus will override the existing content. Uh, thanks for listening, difference.